Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today, we're gonna do uh, something else different. Uh, I'm gonna compare the two. Uh, this client, uh, what's the name, what's the model number? Uh, IP53, no. Is that it? Oh, uh, ET250, declined ET250, voltage uh, tester. And uh, this is the HT Instruments uh, automat auto sensing uh, voltage tester with the, with the clamp on it for taking for amp measurements. Um, and and what I'm doing between comparing the two, I know you probably say, well, one of them is a clamp meter, and one doesn't have the uh, isn't a clamp meter. But I just want to see, uh, ask you guys, uh, if you were going on a service call. And you just had to grab one of these meters on a service call. And uh, you really don't know what the problem is, but it could be uh, tripping out, uh, 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 breaker tripping, uh, GFCI, uh, keep tripping. You know, just a service call. And you had to take one of these meters. Which one would you pick out of the two? Now, I'm going to go through the features on this one. And I'm going to go through some of the features on this one as well and you can leave in the comments which one that you will that you would take on that service call with you if you just had to take one okay decline this one has a backlight as you see this one has a nice nice bright backlight it also has a flashlight it has uh, the gfi uh, gfci tester on here ac dc voltage and it also have uh that's the thing is ohms have ohm, a continuity on here as well. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, I'm sure it have continuity on here because that's, that's, a, that's a basic measurement that you need. Yeah, it has a, a continuity uh, feature on here as well. So that's uh, how many? One, two, three, continuity feature four. Uh, AC, DC, that's five. Uh, no, 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 six, huh? right? One, two, three. AC, DC, and um, uh, continuity, that's six. Six features, uh, plus the flashlight, that's seven features that, you know, you can, that if you took this this instrument with you on the service call, and um, that you will have with you this meter, not to mention that it's small and it's compact, and you can also, you know, it helps out too when you can also just stick to leads in there like that and, and do your testing. So, all of that, so I'm gonna just say, uh, I'm gonna make it eight. So I'm, I'm gonna include that in there and make it, and make it eight. Um, now, on the other hand, this is the HT Instruments. This is, um, let me see the model number on this one, HT100 by HT Instruments. This has auto sensing, as well as this one has auto sensing. This is the true RMS. This doesn't say anything about this true RMS. It may be average. Uh, ranging, I'm not sure, but it doesn't say anything about true RMS. Uh, majority of the time, you really don't need to, uh, you know, uh, it don't really have to be true RMS when you doing a commercial, residential. Uh, you know, it could be average ranging. You just want to know if it has a, um, 120 volts at that at that at that uh, outlet or, uh, you know, at that box or 240. You want to know that or in, in that range, in the average range of meter will tell you that. But if it is true RMS like this one, it's a plus, okay? So, and also, you have, I see you have a backlight. This one has a backlight, it has a clamp, it has uh, continuity, true, true RMS with a hold, and this one doesn't have a hold button. I didn't see a hold button on here. That one doesn't have, just have a hold button. And it also has the little uh, where you could put the probes at to stick the probes at the top. Now, the probes that came with both of these meters, I took them off. They were they was really uh, they were really cheap, and I didn't want to you know I'll change them out. So these probes here come from uh, Greenlee from a Greenlee uh, multimeter that I have, and these probes here came from uh, came oh no these are clients. These came from the meter from uh, from um, uh, from this meter right. From this one, I think this is the one. Yeah, yeah, this is the one that came on here. These are the one that came on here, but these didn't. These are Greenlee uh, probes and leads right here, 
And um, I think it was best for this here because the, re the lease that came with this wasn't all that. These aren't all, all you know, on a scale from one to 10, these are not a 10 either, but you know, they'll do, they'll do. Uh, but this, this have a lot of functions on it, auto sensing, like I, it, so does this one. Like I said, AC, DC voltage, uh, uh, you have uh, continuity. It doesn't have a backlight, I mean, uh, like the flashlight, but you have a non-contact voltage uh, detector right here. So, uh, and this one doesn't. So, um, you know, this, this, this is really good too. So ask yourself, which one would you pick out of the two? And just to make it uh, a little bit more spicier, this is what we're gonna do. But before I do that, guys, if you're new to the channel, and so far you're liking the channel, uh, you like the video, I, I'm asking you to hit that, that thumbs up button that's underneath the video to support the channel. And if you, uh, I mean, like the, you know, to support the channel, also hit that subscribe button, that supports the channel too. And I always mention that all, of the, all the things that I'm asking you is for free. So, uh, uh, you know, don't forget to hit that the like button and the subscribe button and supporting the channel. Now, just to just to make it a little bit more spicier, I'm going to do this. Now, you see the two right here. I already asked you to pick out which one that you would uh, pick. Now, I, I don't know yet. I know which one I would pick. And uh, leave, leave your answer in the comment, and I'll tell you what my answer is at the end at the end of the video. And uh, so out of all of these, which one I you would pick? Let's make it a little bit more spicy, y'all. Let's do this. Let's put this one in here. Let's put this one in here and let me turn it on. This is by Ideal. This is their newest. This is model number 61-557. And this is the AC-DC voltage tester. It doesn't say anything about if it's true RMS. And like I mentioned before, it doesn't really matter. If you just want to know if it's voltage there, if it's within spec uh, 120 volts or, you know, just a, a few volts under or things like that. But this one, uh, it also have a non-contact voltage detector like this one does. This one doesn't. This one has a flashlight that this one uh, this one uh, have. So, so far, it has two things that both of these have already, but this one. Now, this also has a GFCI tester that this one have and this one don't. They have, this one has a low Z uh, measurement that this one don't and this one don't. This one has a backlight, like um, you can see right here, and like this one does and like this one does. And I'll, I'll tell you about the flashlight. That's the flashlight that's here. So, and um, what else? It has, um, I'll tell you, ACDC voltage, you have continuity, and it's rated IP5042. Now, I, that has something to do with moisture. This may be dust rated or something like that, um, you know, uh, protection against moisture or something like that. I, I don't really know what um, what code is that one. And uh, with that's rate, uh, what the rating is for the six uh, IP42, some of you may know, I don't. This one is rated IP53. Don't know this one doesn't have don't have a rating on it at all. Six hundred count display, uh, and it also have a hanging strap on the back. It also have this where you could tuck your meter, uh, your, your your leads at, and um, you can let me just undo this. Show you what I'm talking about. You can also put your your leads in here if you want to. You know, do your measurements. I don't know where the other one at. Oh. If you want to do your measurements. So it's rubberized, has a rubberized housing on here. It has a protected magnetic strap. Um, the leads and the, the test leads are pretty decent. You know, you don't, I don't think I would change these out. These are pretty decent. And um, you just snap back out of your way, You're, you know, like so. And so, now which one would you pick out of those out of those three to take on a call with you? Uh, this one, this I tell you what, and let's go a little bit more. Let's get a little bit more spicy. 
Let's do this one. Which one would you take on a call with you? This is by Ampro. That's how you wake it up. I'll tell you what we do. Let me uh let me start it up. Because you have to put it in so in uh, in the outlet to make it. That's it right there. It holds it. It holds the reading for you. Uh, nice big digits. It has a. It don't have a backlight, or does it? Let me see. I think it did have a backlight. But anyway, it have a GFCI tester. It have like these lights up. Like these li it, it, it lights up down here uh, to let you know about the voltage and also to give you a display. Uh, it has a place up here to hold your probe if you just had to. Go plug it in the socket and you could outlet or something. You could hold it just like this. You could do the same for this Klein. Uh, that it fits right into a socket. I never, let me see. I'll never try with this ideal, but from the, I think so, from the way it looks, it's close enough where you can do the same. You know something, I think I did do it with this ideal before. And um, you can go to an outlet. Yeah, do the same with that to an outlet. So also with this one, an outlet and um, it take both all of them take uh, AAA batteries uh, two just take uh, three this take uh, three also I think and this take two right here uh, if, if, if my memory serves me correct the model number for this one is Ampro VCP-31 this is a voltage and voltage and uh, continuity tester um, so this also has a, a, a voltage detection on it also so and this this is the little cap that goes on the top to protect your probes now guys asking you again now it, and it don't have a flashlight to it but um, this is you know kind of basic uh, they have a uh, AC DC voltage they have a uh, non-contact voltage detection they have continuity it don't show anything on the display but you just hear the sound there you go it gives you a little light, but you know that it's, it's continuity. Um, so, and that's, um, that's, a, that's about it for that one. So, out of the four, which one would you take on the service call with you? Now, I'm going to give you which one I would take on the service call with me, uh, if need be. Because if I'm going on a service call, I need to know if there's voltage. I need to know if there's continuity. And also, I would need to know if it's over amping, if it's tripping a break or what have you. So even though I see all the features on all these other ones that I would like, they look nice, I would have to go with this one. Because this is the one that is most important. This serves two functions, two basic functions that I really need. I need amperage and I need, uh, I need amperage and I need voltage detection, uh, voltage measurement. ACL DC, and uh, this one have it. So out of all the three, even though they are nice, they have all these nice features, G GFCI, what have you, this would be the one that I pick. Now, out of these three, which ones I would pick that's left, if I had to take one of these on the, uh, take, I'm, I'm gonna put them in order. If I had to take all of these, that would be the first one. This would be my second one right here. This would be my third, and this would be the last one. First, second, third, fourth. That would be the order that I would take them in. Uh, so, guys, um, thank you for letting me hold you, uh, hold you up. And I hope that you liked the video. Uh, remember, all this just for, I uh, guess, learning purposes, also for entertainment. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Share the video if you like. Leave a comment. Uh, hit that subscribe button. And... Um, when you do things like that, guys, I really appreciate it. Supports the channel. Okay, you guys take care. Until the next time, next video, peace out.